Science is a great curriculum area in early childhood education. It is meant to be fun and it helps children to explore and understand the world around them. So let's talk about what science is and what it is not in early childhood education. Science in early childhood should be very hands-on. According to the constructivist approach, children construct their knowledge and they build their theories or ideas by interacting with the environment where the teacher is more of a guide than an instructor and that the child is not just passively taking in information. So children should be encouraged to play, to explore, touch, and use as much of their senses as possible. And while direct teaching is not all bad, we should definitely limit long periods of time where we're expecting the children to sit and listen to us. So try to find some different activities during this class time where the child can be engaged and actively involved. So science in preschool is not about any specific body of knowledge or presenting a list of facts or, or information to children at this point because they're not going to remember. So what is science in preschool? What does science in preschool look like? So what is science in preschool based on? It is based on the child's natural curiosity and tendency to want to be hands-on, to actively explore the world around them. So let them do things, let them build, let them put things together. It's okay if they make a mistake. That's how they're going to learn. It's also based on the child's natural curiosity to experiment, to try things. So maybe they can predict something. Maybe they might ask, well, what will happen if this occurs? And then you just let them try it to see what happens. Of course, not everything can be experimented, but if they can experiment, let them. Here's a photo I found that is an example of a child experimenting outdoors. Very cute. They have a uniform on, magnifying glass, plastic knife, at least I hope it's plastic, a pouch. Maybe they can put leaves and twigs and maybe even insects or whatever else they find. And then they can ask questions such as, what will happen if I dig up this hole and I put you know, a seed in or something? And then they can actually do that with the tools that they have. And that's experimenting, trying new things. Part of being hands-on is that children will naturally be curious. They will want to ask questions. What is this that I found on the ground that's wiggling in my hand? Or, you know, what is this plant? Or, you know, why is the snail slimy? Let them ask their questions. It's just a natural process for them to understand the world that is around them. And then by asking questions, it can help them to learn and then understand, have that light bulb moment on a preschool level. Science should also help children to discover things in their everyday life, look at things through a new lens, and help them to see things differently. So one important thing for children to explore science is to provide them with different materials and tools. And so an example here, I got to visit a preschool here in San Diego and they had an outdoor classroom and they had different stations to help children to explore all the different curriculum, curriculum areas and it was amazing. And so in this example, as you can see, they have a little table and they had magnifying glasses and blocks with different insects and um, pictures on it and then they also had different material logs and rocks and plants around them and so they got to use the tools that was provided to look at things differently. They also had this area where I was told they were learning about birds and so they put the book that they had read it was on owl babies and then they gave them boxes and different materials and they were able to construct this it looks like a house for different types of birds it had ducks and eagles and such. I, Think they're just trying to find all their stuffed birds which is very cute but they gave them the children got to make houses and and um, different bedding for the birds and they got to see the books that they read and just built something so that's the fun thing about science and what it should be is that it's all about the child being able to be hands-on to explore to try new things and then that way they can see the world differently and be curious and understand um, or try to understand at their level what science is about.